I mean, with, uh, with football, you're never 100 percent healthy, you know. Uh, but I just got, I just got beat on those plays. I can't, I can't go back and say I was hurt, this and that. I was out there. If I'm out there, I'm 100 percent. So if I got beat, I got beat. So. What, what sort of injuries were you dealing with earlier, earlier in the year? Um, just, a, just a knee. That's all it was. It wasn't, it wasn't nothing crazy. It wasn't nothing significant. It was just a little something. Is that before Michigan State or after two? Oh, uh, before. Kim, how do you stay focused on Maryland without looking ahead to what is obviously going to be a huge game here in like what, like ten days, nine days? Um, how do you stay focused on Maryland without looking ahead? Uh, I mean, it's pretty easy for me just to stay focused and just focus on the week. I don't, I don't really try to look too far ahead. You look so far ahead, something, something's going to pop up and it's going to be a, it's going to be bad. Is that a message you guys have to deliver to some of the younger guys who either experienced last year for the first time or you know, are experiencing this season for the first time? Like, hey, you know, we can't let uh, this game out of out of our sights before before you head to that. Oh yeah, that's uh, one thing Coach Day preached. We don't never, we never look ahead because you look ahead to the, the big game and then. You slip up beforehand, you know. Um, you all, if you can't, you for us personally, we can't get to where we want to be without winning every week. So that's how it goes. Let me ask it this way: How many seconds after the final zero? Uh, so <laughs> for for our for we, what we do is um, we practice on Sunday, we go over film on Sunday, and once we done with practice, we.